it's Sally here. I think I'm here. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty sure I'm here. It's just disappearing on me a little bit, but I am hoping that I am here and broadcasting to everybody. Hi there, everybody. It's Sally and I think I'm broadcasting. So I'm just going to keep going. Um, Tuesday teaching tips today. We're in our second week here in the UK of our lockdown and life is beginning to have a bit of routine, which is interesting. Teaching is settling down as well and beginning to find routines for that and ways of being. And one of the things I've become very conscious of, and we're doing this in the Curious Piano Teachers every, every morning, is we're looking, looking at self-care, that we have to look after ourselves. Um, it's really important that spending hours at the computer which I'm, i think we all are doing this if you're teaching online we're now spending hours in front of the computer it's not just in front of the computer it's kind of moving our bodies in different ways it's projecting to the people and sending our energy down the um down down the down the computer and i don't know about you but i find that exhausting absolutely exhausting so just a few tips really first of all i've split my teaching up into much smaller chunks so that like now i can have a bit of a break time i've been teaching this morning i'll be teaching again at three o'clock and um and that's so much better so i should go off in a minute when i've done this and have my lunch and listen to the archers which is what we do in the uk um i'm drinking lots of water as well i think that's really important to keep hydrated so make sure you get a jug close by if you're teaching for a stretch of time you must keep the water going i'm just going to have some now i think physically as well we have to make sure that we have the opportunity to stand up sit down give everything a shake and the same goes for our pupils even though they're not going to be there quite as intensely for that number of hours but it is important that if you can see they're struggling because it's quite intense being online and doing this, um, we you need to have a break. And I'll give you a little idea of what you can do in that in a moment. But for yourselves, you know, as well as just standing up, make sure that the shoulders, you can just do some lovely little shoulder rolls. You know, you could start off, I like to say, you could start off football size. If you're out there, I can see various. Uh, oh, hello, Sally. Hello, Anastasia. Good, good, good. And Kathy as well. Thank you for joining me. So shoulder rolls, football size then you reduce them down to football no tennis ball size tennis ball and then finally down to little ping pong ping pong even and then reverse do them the other way ping pong and then back up to tennis ball and then you can go back up to football or rugby whatever and that even that just helps um so that you know physical things are really important um other things are vocal health now i don't know about you but I'm finding my voice, and unless I warm it up quite well in the morning, it can really get quite tight because we're projecting to the microphone, which is over there. Oh, mine's over there, actually. But um, just little little things you can do are like little whoops. Whoa! Yee, 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 yee! And really, you know, if you're going to... Um, if you're going to present something, which of course a piano lesson is a presentation, then actually you do need to do this for your for your vocal health. Just get that voice warmed up a little bit. So that's the second thing is the vocal health, physical, vocal and uh, mental. You've got to keep, make sure that mentally you keep bright and alert and your pupils as well. So one fun thing that I quite like to do with them, if I can see they're looking a bit sleepy, is um, a little um, little puzzle if you like it just wakes the brain up and gets them thinking you're going to put one finger on your nose and the other finger you're going to put on in your opposite ear like that and then you just change it over <laughs> just change it over um it's easier said than done and it takes a little bit of thinking and what that thinking does is it refocuses it doesn't do anything else doesn't make you clever or anything like that it just makes you focus and concentrate on doing this which just allows the brain to go oh and breathe okay so you're putting one finger on your nose the other finger on your opposite ear and look how my hands are crossed over each other and then when i'm changing this finger to this ear okay and this finger sorry it's very strange doing the reverse i'm going to put on my nose like this Whoa, there 
And one of my pupils did, oh, that's really easy, Sally. <laughs> which I thought was very clever. Um, so that's just a little thing that you can do. You try it in lessons this afternoon. Maybe do a bit of practice on it yourself. Once you've done it, it's it's really easy. But just that first kind of two or three times you end up. How does, how does that work? You have to think your way through it. So looking after yourself, really, really important in these days. Uh, give yourself breaks. Get away from the computer. If the sun is shining, go out and enjoy the sunshine and um well, what else was i going to say yeah okay so um just make sure that that time for you is just as important next week i will be back with tuesday teaching tips but i'd love to answer any questions or any queries that you've got about things that you'd like me specifically with the teaching online um or, or lesson activities for online anything that you've got that you would like uh like me to see if i can address so tuesday teaching tips next week next tuesday um i'd love to have some questions that i can answer or come along and answer answer some questions online so thank you so much for joining me those of you those of you that have come along just so that you all know that um we at the curious piano teachers we want to offer support to all teachers out there and so our community membership of our community is completely free for a whole month you can pop in anytime you like you can stay for a whole month without paying a single sausage without paying a single bit of money okay and we'd love you to come in so that we can be there and support you and share some of the ideas that we uh, we are currently exploring um, if you want to leave at the end of that that's absolutely fine by us we still would like to welcome you into our community even if it's just for a month all right happy teaching wherever you are in the world thank you for watching take care bye bye